in immunoassay detection. Carryover free disposable tips are used to pipette a patient sample into a disposable cup. Incubation with two antibodies begins. The first antibody is labeled with biotin. The second is labeled with ruthenium. Both are highly specific to binding sites on the target antigen. In this example, the two antibodies form a sandwich complex with the antigen. Depending on the target analyte, competitive and bridge immunoassay principles can also be applied. Next, microbeads coated with streptavidin are introduced into the solution. Streptavidin forms a strong bond with biotin. The completed immunoassay complex is now ready to be transferred to the measuring cell. The solution is aspirated into the measuring cell. A magnet is applied and the paramagnetic beads bind to the surface of the measuring cell. Pro-cell solution is introduced in order to separate the bound immunoassay complexes from the free remaining particles and to provide TPA, which is essential for the ECL reaction. Voltage triggers the ECL reaction. Ruthenium and TPA are excited in the process. The TPA radical then serves as a reductant, enabling ruthenium to return to its base state with the release of light. The cycle of electrochemiluminescence repeats as long as voltage is applied, resulting in the amplification of the light signal. The emitted light is detected by a photomultiplier. The ECL process is complete. The signal detected is equivalent to the concentration of the target analyte. The innovative application of ECL technology to immunochemistry provides rapid measurement, controlled reaction, precision and sensitivity, wide measuring range, and low sample volume. These benefits make ECL technology light years ahead.